When working on civil projects, there is one thing that is impossible to avoid. We create lots of files that range in size from small to large to gigantic. And once these files are created, we need to find ways to make them available to the various members of the project team. Now how an organization deals with this situation can either be a drag on their business or a way to stand out from their competition. To demonstrate this, let's take a quick look at two firms. Randy's firm relies on multiple solutions to exchange files. Smaller files are typically transmitted via email. Larger files are transmitted via FTP. And gigantic files are usually sent through the mail on a thumb drive. Unfortunately, the workflow for each solution is different. And as the files get bigger, so does Randy's reliance on other people in the office for assistance. Across town, Dave's firm uses a different approach. Instead of relying on multiple solutions, they have standardized on BIM 360 docs. Using BIM 360 docs, he has access to unlimited storage and has no restrictions on file size. Dave can easily post any file and make it available to his choice of the project team members. Randy posted several files on Monday so his sub-consultant could create some exhibits. Randy needs these exhibits by the end of the week. Today is already Thursday and Randy has not yet received anything. Randy tries unsuccessfully multiple times to contact his sub-consultant. And to make matters worse, Randy has no way of knowing if his sub-consultant has even downloaded what Randy sent him. On Monday, Dave had a similar situation with his project, but addressed it much differently. Using BIM 360 Docs, he posted several files and made them available to his sub-consultant, who instantly received an email notification. Later that same day, Dave checked the audit trail and was able to confirm the files that he posted had been downloaded. It's now Friday afternoon. Randy still doesn't have his exhibits and remains unable to reach his sub-consultant. Now what Randy doesn't know is that on Wednesday, his sub-consultant completed the exhibits and posted them to a different system for Randy to retrieve. Unfortunately, Randy doesn't remember the sub-consultant granting him access to this system on their last project, or the fact that his sub-consultant would be out of the office this Thursday and Friday. What he does know is that someone needs to break the news to the boss. Dave received the exhibits he needed a couple of days ago. His sub-consultant posted them back to BIM 360 Docs, and Dave instantly received an email notification letting him know they were available. He added the exhibits to his overall submittal and transmitted it to the client ahead of schedule using, you guessed it, BIM 360 Docs. Before leaving the office for the weekend, Dave's boss reviews the audit trail and confirms their client has already downloaded Dave's submittal. The difference is pretty clear, but let's look at it another way. Who would you want working on your project?